at this time, we would like to start in the correct and proper way. We would like to call up the Haumana and Kumu of Hawaiian Immersion School, Kekula or P.E. Lani. Please, Maui, give them a warm round of aloha. I see Kekai Robinson. Aloha. I mahalo. Everybody here is like really nervous because it's like kind of our Mary Monarch. So thank you. Thank you for being patient with us. Aloha Mai. Thank you for having us today. We are so happy to be here. Omakone o Kekula o Piilani. We are Kekula o Piilani and we are a private independent school up in Iao Valley. Our children are taught um, through Hawaiian immersion in language and culture. And so we are very happy and very proud to be here today to provide pule, blessing for this event, and to honor our Ali'i, he is known as Kealii Makaainana, our Kealii Donaku Hio Kalaniana Ole. You will hear our children present Oli. That will tell you who they are and where they are from. And we have brought to life an oli for Kuhio, Kiali Kuhio, to honor to Ho'ola'a, our, our beloved prince, our celebrated Ali'i of Hawaii, for all of the things that Kuhio has done. So, Ho'ola'a Kuhio, Ho'ola'a um, Hanau to our Ali'i Kuhio, whose birthday is too. And we're so happy that everyone looks healthy and well. Say it with me. Eola! Eola! Eola!
E o Kikua Okinari! OMG, that was nice, powerful. Look at all this Kumu, and I'm thinking it was Makua. We brought the Makua with us today. Parents too. Parents too. Kakoo, parents, you did good. You was probably more nervous than the KK, but parents. Let's say we got a parents guys. Kekai Robinson, you've done well. You've done well, my sister. Girl, I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling proud. Proud to be Hawaiian, yes? Oh, and I'm a Hawaiian today. Okay. Oh. Clap again, those children were so awesome. Clap again, people were together. And it's okay, you know, my mask in this open area. Mahalo Queen Kaahumanu, Mahalo Staff and Management. Miss Pavela, or she's still there talking to Rishi. So the girl over there with the yellowish gold Kamoho Ali, big round of applause for her. She's the boss over here. She may not want to bump her, but thank you for allowing us this space. The space. And we sit down, we're using her chairs. Thank you. And she get the million dollar liability insurance that I need nowadays. You know, you gotta have that too. So, mahalo. Sorry. No, we're holding it back. I want you guys to be awesome. <laughs> you know, and for, you know, when you put on stage, we usually get the um, iPad right here. Right. And um, but to put it on the mic stand, you gotta have the attachment, yeah. Yes. With the uh, iPad, they call it. Right. Well, I forgot mine's at home, so I'm gonna be singing down the whole time because I'm looking at my iPad right down here by the speaker. Oh. Oh, Kauri can get his iPad on the floor. <laughs> I have, I have a reason that you should be thankful. You can read 16 font from four feet away. Because, let me tell you, mine would be on 24 font, and then I have to go let it <laughs> Like that, like that, with the foot. And then, oh, I went to the hyena. Wait, go, go back to the second verse. I get size 11 feet big, so we're going to have a problem. You like me? You like my chair? I give you my chair if you like I'm closer. We're here, we're in the open with each other. Love it, love it. Oh, everybody out together. Oh, look how cute. Oh, move down, Dave. Hey, girl, I know. Girl, when you. Kumu, you told me I'm front and center. Tell them move around. Right? Yes, I'm right to the front. Yeah, move a little bit more up. Move a little bit more up. Move up, guys. Woo. Let the other girls move around me. Right. Right. <laughs> she kind of right, though. She's staying in between the flowers. Hey, you know, I told them to line up with the queen. They're figuring it out. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so cute. I'm just... Okay, you guys know I'm stalling time because I need approval from my sound man, okay? It's not that I just like being on stage. It's my sound man that would give me approval. Yes, I'm gonna listen to the Japanese sound man. When he ready, we are ready. But let me tell you, babe, I'm gonna go eat cow beef. Okay? Or should I eat Maui tacos? Still get Maui tacos on stage. I don't go upstairs all the time. Oh look, the parents. The parents waving. Can, can. She cute ya. She cute ya. Oh, two years already. Babes, you're professional. Okay, you ready, David? If you ready, I'm ready. Alright, I got it. Maui. This is our own hello. Hello ke ala kahinano o kuna. Under the direction of Kumu. 
the beauty of our people and our, our Ali'i and our sacred chiefs who left us this place and left us their Ike to guide us into our futures. Um, and so the last mele we're going to do is a mele, something new we were working on in Halo. I've been working with some of the kumpulas around the state. I'll talk about it a little bit more, but this is a, a mele that honors Pele and Kane Wagani. Um, our son, for her in Halo, you know, in the time of coronavirus, we really talked about the things, our environment. We really got to pay attention to our environment and indulge in our environment. And one of the ways we did that was learning mele that concentrated on things in our environment. And so this mele talks about Kane Oalani, our son, and what power it takes to come out of the ocean, to dry our cup up, to give life to our people. And so I hope these girls, for the first time out, they're going to bring you
got to do these fabulous shows in town, you know, and this fabulous stage in fact, I'm even gonna like plant it in there here. I wanna keep the whole competition on the stage. Who wants that? I want that. Now later, with that Manaho, like I said, we've been, you know, we've been at home and the, the one thing I can say I'm proud of as a Kumula, there's three things that I learned that I'm gonna talk about through the time that we were at home and not being able to do things. The first thing that I'm gonna talk about is taking care of your body and taking care of yourself, yeah? And so the when when the world shut down, the Kumulas of the world got together and decided we're gonna love we cup when we're gonna cup ourselves. And we're going to make sure that we take care of ourselves because we're the leaders of our people. And so we knew that we were still touching our halal kids. They were still coming to halal. They might not have been going to school, but they were coming to halal. They were meeting me on Zoom. They were doing whatever they could to get to hula. And I was one of the only people in their lives that was seeing them, and it was so awesome. And all we did was work out. And they were like, cool, are we doing hula or are we doing burpees? And I was like, we're doing both, Paco. And so it turned into just a really great time for our halal, getting healthy together, drinking water and moving our bodies. And so this next group I'm gonna bring out, they are amazing, they're the leaders of the world. They learned how to use Zoom before their parents. They get on before me and say, Kumo, you're late. They mute and unmute, it's so irritating. They video and unvideo, I tell you what. But at the end of the day, they learned all of these melee and I'm super proud of them. So I'm gonna bring out my littles. I swear they're my very modern crew if I ever make that journey. Alright, so we're going to take you to the island of Oahu. We're going to be cruising around the island eating some funnel food and having a good time. If you ever hang out with me, adventures is always fun. Hene hene koaka.
in here. Spread out, Maka Hiyaku, so everybody can see you. We're going on another cruise. You guys enjoyed that one? Wait for this one. Hola, hola, pa. Here we go.
Okay, so just a little note, the girl at the front of the line. That's my menopause child. <laughs> Which is why, as Alice said, oh, you never stop. Well, no can, still get kids. And the list goes on and on and yes, these lovely young ladies are going to do another beautiful song that, you know, is near and dear to all of our hearts. We've all heard it, but with the voice of Mr. Kauli Kepeskaya, we will fall in love with it even more. We introduce our lovely young ladies. Our song is Kali Huadini.
God, baby. It's beautiful. I swear to these guys, I always say this. I swear they were in first grade yesterday. I swear. They were. And you know what's so funny? I was just looking back. We usually get new costumes every two years when we do a big show. And we did a big show. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, they're all wearing each other's costumes. And the ladies go, oh my gosh, she's wearing how fast that go time goes by in Halal. So the next thing that I learned during coronavirus was that Hula is life and life is Hula. And the reason that I re-learned that or reintroduced that to myself was because when everything shut down, the only person that was going was me. And the girls came to me and they saw me and they danced with me and they were like, you're the best thing in the world, Pum Joy. And I loved it. I was like, yes, sir. I don't have to compete with a math teacher, I don't have to compete with a soccer coach. It was all about me. And I loved it. I loved it. It was like, we love you, girl. And so, you know, the return was to love them back with all of my heart and all of my soul. To the point of, we used to do the once a week, now we see each other three, four, four times a week. And so it's been really nice. And the thing that I learned is that regardless of time, space, health, sickness, whatever, hula goes on, and hula happens. And so we resounded hula the whole time, and we're proud to resound it here for all of you. So I'm bringing out these girls. They're going to take you down to the ocean where we spent a lot of time. I hope you guys spent time at the beach. When the beach was empty, it was nice. It was nice, man. I saw things I never saw. Now I just close my eyes and remember while people put their stuff down by me, right? Anywho, they're going to take you to the ocean and remind us of the bounties of our kite, the limus that grow, the limus that feed us, and the limus that feed our fish. Yeah, I'd be coming to you, I'm a girl. You know you got to make it when you get one song back to back, which I just put you out there. All right, give it up for these girls. I'm going to bring you to
Bravo. So cute. And listen, let's give it up for a fabulous musician, Mr. Tony Lopez Maya, and Auntie Liz Morales. How blessed I am to have them in my life. They deal with me and all my changes, please. Ah, you know, lucky though, because if I were to see you guys, would all go home. They'd be like, no. Right? Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to cut a CD one day, though, when the world really flips. <laughs> and appreciate R. Good. Look at that help. I love it. Let's go, find your spot. We're going to do a fun minute for you that's just exciting and lovely and I make them, you know, all the kids, this is the funny thing, they all come in, they want to use their implements, yeah, they're like, cool, when are we going to dance with our Uli Ulis? When are we going to dance with everything? And then when they realize that their Uli Ulis is more heavy than their arms, and their Ibu actually is playing up here, not by their people, they're like, oh my gosh, let's put away these Uli Ulis. So after this song, we're going to give her one rest. So keep on going, plus my hello is full of red feathers. Oh, goodies.
lovely melody that everybody should know in all of our Hawaii. This song is uh, real popular in English and a uh, Papahali song, but you know, Kumo Joy likes to make it difficult on me, so she had me do this version and it's in Olalo. But yeah, we're celebrating Olalo, right? Mm -hmm. So, pray for me.
He has invited me to his stages. He has shown his halal aloha time and time again. And I just am so appreciative to him and the Lokani group and um, Auntie Alakai and Reisha and everybody who comes out and supports us to all the parents, to all the kupuna, to all the all the aunties and uncles, mahalo ya uko pa kahi apau. We are halal ki alakani na na ukuna. I am kumuhula joy kyo pola di And we're going to do one last song for you. We're going to take you to this east side of Maui, to the area of Kuali and Hana. One of my very favorite songs. One of my very favorite places. And um, I'm going to be joined by my beauties. Enjoy this last night in Kuali. Koali, you know, um, made popular by Alpha Pekelo, of course, Pekelo Kazma, uh, who came from the east side of Maui. I, uh, I got to play with him uh, a couple times before he passed in 2011, and great man, wonderful man, very sweet and, and friendly. Um, his daughter, one of his daughters, Lamaka, well, both of his daughters actually, they see me, uh, but it wasn't until recently that um, uh, Lamaka, the oldest daughter, that she started playing professionally, so I got to we got to meet up yesterday, in fact, and uh, talk story, and um, I can't wait for her to, to get out there and be legendary like her father. Yeah? <laughs>
Morales, our Makua, our Ohana, and our Kukuna. Mahalo ya uko papaya work for club coming out tonight. Enjoy the rest of your night. Stick around for Kalani Pea. Cam is going to be out here over the weekend. And following us is Kamako Kukana after Kalani Pea. So it's going to be a good night here at QKC. Mahalo ya. Mahalo Mali. Oh, how about a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen? Oh my goodness, girl, when you're talking to Joyful, she is, yeah, leave that shyness at home, babes. Kick it, kick it hard, bring it. I love it. Joy Salvador, ladies and gentlemen, Mahu's own. And that music, I gotta say, that music was pretty top shelf. Liz Copa Artita Morales. Girl, I was kind of waiting for your Mo'opuna to be on stage already. Pretty soon. Oh, okay. Yeah, the Mo'opuna. She's learning. Are we having a grand time, ladies and gentlemen of Moe? Who are you? Up she. Oh, and this is Gina from the Maui Daily. In case you guys watch Akaku, stand up, girl, stand up. This page, Gina from Maui Daily, Akaku. So if she takes your picture, don't be mad if you end up on Akaku. You are a movie star. Okay, all right. 